This presentation titled Critical Habitats for Post-Nesting Sea Turtles Kelonia Midas from Cayo Arcas Reef System in the Gulf of Mexico travels for a brief introduction about why Cayo Arcas Reef System is important for sea turtles, a little bit about what we did in this research. As results, we discussed about where these sea turtles come from or where they go from Cayo Arcas and a review of the space use and critical habitats for these turtles. And finally, some highlights of this ongoing research. Cayo Arcas Reef System is located in the southern Gulf of Mexico, particularly in Mexican waters, around 150 kilometers from the nearest coast of Campeche State. It is singular location. Its singular location combines oceanographic features from open waters of the Gulf of Mexico with the highly productive and warming waters from the Campeche Bank, because it is at the border of the continental slope. For the same reason, it represents a stepping stone for several migratory species like birds, fishes, and of course, sea turtles. This remote system harbors a biodiversity that is still in research. Please visit the presentations included in this Cayo Arcas virtual session. There are a lot of complementary information about the importance of this remote reef. Nevertheless, the ecological importance of this system, it contrasts with the oil industry facilities that are located one mile to the south. Actually, some months ago, they registered a medium-scale spill that infected the system and it is still under investigation. Well, what about the turtles in the Cayo Arcas Reef system? We have evidence about the present, at least occasional, of four sea turtle species. Careta careta or loggerheads, Lepidocalis kempi, Eretmocalis imbricata or hawksbills, and Kelonia midas, aka greens. This last species uses the white sand beaches in the area to nest, but what is really singular about the population that nests in Cayo Arcas is that it seems to have a unique haplotype for the sea turtles in the Atlantic, meaning that these turtles represent a genetic reservoir that could help to the species to survive in a changing climate world. In an enormous effort to know the sea turtle critical habitat in the southern Gulf of Mexico, a group of researchers unraveled the space use of 88 sea turtles in a contribution of the Gulf of Mexico, Mexico Research Consortium. With this work, we recognize that Cayo Arcas is indeed a nesting internesting area, as I said, but also it is part of a migratory corridor that connects citrus traveling from the west coast of the Gulf of Mexico to the Yucatan Peninsula or beyond, and in the same sense a stepping stone meaning that some individuals spend several days in, in the vicinity of the system but then they continue traveling. For some context about the terminology, we use the term critical habitats as is established in the Mexican general law for wildlife that states that critical habitats are those terrestrial or aquatic areas where occur biological, physical or chemical processes that are essential for, for endangered species survival so they require special protection and management. Those areas are regularly used for feeding, foraging, rest, reproduction or migration. 
In a more technical point of view, a home range is a restricted area that is used by individuals during their regular activities like feeding or, or reproduction. As we can see in the animation, which is made with sea turtle locations obtained by satellital tracking, the home range is being defined as the dust as the dose are providing more information that is space use but by the individual in a deterministic way. Given that context, we wanted to answer these questions. Where do females that nest in Cayo Arcas come from or goes to? It is well known that sea turtle has very marked site fidelity, so we assume that the place where they establish a home range after nesting is their residence, residence site, where they forage and rest. We are also interesting, interested in knowing the migratory path, paths used by turtles to get those places. We believe that knowing the space used by this important population should help for guiding conservation and restoration efforts. So the objective of this work was to know migratory routes and residency habitats for Kelonia Midas post-nesting females from Cayo Arca. In order to reach that objective, we tag five satellite Argos transmitters to five post-nesting females in the central key of Cayo Arcas reef system between 2011 and 2019. A tag looked like this one in the photo on the right that was glued to this beautiful sea turtle which caparash length was more than one meter and something more than 150 kilograms. It was a big challenge, as you can imagine. We did some special analysts like tracking the operation. We classified location in internesting, migration and residency, so we can estimate the utilization distribution density with kernel methods. Just for internesting and residency aggregations and we define the home range with the 80% of the utilization distribution density. As results, we observe that these five turtles went to the continental coast north of Yucatan Peninsula. Two of them remain in the coast near in front of Cayo Arcas, here, in an eco region known as Petene Celestun El Palmar, which has a very well conserved sea grasses meadows. Two more turtles went to the northeast corner of Yucatan Peninsula, here, which is also part of a pretty well conserved sea grasses near Contoy Island, that also is a natural protected area. One turtle went to establish its residency area just in front of Las Coloradas, one of the most important nesting beaches in the region. Amazing, right? Having the opportunity of nest just in front of the just in front of this residency, this turtle went to Cayo Arcas to nest. The internesting home range sizes go from 37 square kilometers to more than 1,000 because one of them didn't have enough points or uh, points with what good quality to do a correct estimation. They travel from 182 kilometers up to one to a half thousand kilometers with this crazy turtle that this this particular loop here before headed to the east coast of the peninsula. With more data, we estimated the residency home ranges with sizes around 100 square kilometers in the area we just said. If we compare 
these results with our former research, we can observe that four of these individuals went to already know aggregation areas in both peninsula of Yucatan corners, which coincidentally or not are natural protected areas and harbors well-established sea turtle populations, including greens and other species like hawksbills. With this research, we want to point out that Cayo Arcas is a key area for sea turtles, and with these results and other evidence that already exist, we hypothesize that it will be a hotspot for sea turtles conservation. This isolated reef in Campeche Bank represents a linking spot between open waters and continental waters of Gulf of Mexico as it serves a connectivity instrument with Yucatan Peninsula and even the Caribbean waters with the Gulf of Mexico, including the connection between well conserved sea grasses on continental shelf. And finally, to reinforce the importance of Cayo Arcas, 80% of these sea turtles define their residence home range in already well known aggregation areas in the southern Gulf of, of Mexico, Mexico. We want to thank to the Septima Zona Naval from Marine Ministry located in Carmen Campeche for the invaluable help to reach this beautiful place and for the facilities provided to tag these magnificent turtles.